Hello and welcome back to Advanced Custom Fields with me, Benjamin Adair. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, so we've progressed. We've created our child team now, and now it's time to add some more content. So let's have a look at what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be adding the text field, the text area. In fact, we've already added a text field. Text area, we're going to add an image. We're going to add a WYSIWYG editor. We're going to add a page link that can link off somewhere else. And we're going to be adding a file. So, for example, an image. Okay, well, let's get to it. So, the first thing we need to do. So, this is going to be our page. And we can still use the text field one. So, let's go into custom fields. And let's click edit. And what we can do is we can just add fields to this one. So, our first one was to add a text area okay so a text area just shove that over there okay so this can be so we've got our text field already let's do our text area please you can write a little note here saying please add text to the text area then we can add another field and this field was the image field okay so we can uh, image and we can scroll down and as we can see there's quite a few uh, options here so we can add the image please add an image and I always go for the image URL and let's go for a full image and let's click there and then we want to add a WYSIWYG editor so we can say add content and what we want to choose is our WYSIWYG oh no not image we want to add our WYSIWYG editor so please add some content Or Whipson will do. Okay, so we've done that. We want the full toolbar. Um, we can have the media upload button, and that's fine. And our next item was adding a page link. So we can do. So you can do a relational um, page link. So page link is there. So we can add a link. Add a link. Oh, I don't want that one. Add a link from this website. And lastly, I believe it was to add a file. So add file. And again, we can do this. So add a file. Then what we do is we update this. So we've got our text field, our text area. So we need to go back into our code. Sorry, bear with me. There we go. Now, so what we'll do is we'll change that heading to say our custom fields below so the first thing we've got is we have our text field so we'll just put text field so we know what we're so we need so we know what we're putting out so let's just copy and paste rather than typing it all out so the next one is the text area and if we go here it's just simply text area so it's fairly basic but it's not too lots of text area 
save that. Then we've got an image. So we can just put image. And what we can do is image source. And then for the alt, we can just say our image. Now, I know that this is um, not so great. So what we can do in a video when we're creating our, our exercise with the restaurants, we can add images to that. And I'll show you how to have uh, the alt tag be dynamic and pull in the text that comes from the WP uh, media section so image source for field I need to change that to image image then I need to text no the next one was add content and that's our WYSIWYG editor so what I will do so wrapping it in paragraph tags and get rid of that and just type in just copy and paste that it's going to be our WYSIWYG editor then the next one is, is add a link which is our page link so this will be here page link and again we need to get rid of the paragraph tags a href And again, you can have an alt for your tag here. Um, but again, we can make that dynamic in a, another video. So click the link. That's fine, page link. So a href, the field, add a link field. Is that correct? No, it's not because I've got field at the end. So let's get rid of that one. And then last but not least is add file. So, is that underscore? Yeah, file. Now, add a file. So, <clears throat> again, with this, with the add file, I'm assuming that uh, the end user would want to download said file. So, you can have it pop into another window. So, what we shall do is we shall a href it. Get rid of that paragraph tag. And we shall target underscore blank. And what this will do, as you can see there, what this will do, it will uh, it will open a new window for the user. So uh, click here to down to view the the file okay now what we need to do we've created the template or we've used the template from the previous video and now what we want to do is we want to populate our page so let's save this that's saved now let's go to our pages and edit this page and we should see all of the files so this is a text field and this is a text area we can add an image let's see what images we've got in here have we got any images uh, we don't have any images okay so let's do a little screenshot of this then why not so I'm just screenshotting it okay so I've got the screenshot of an image and what we will do now is we'll just literally add it so I've already uploaded it to my WordPress so that's our image pretty huge I know might have to change that in the settings then we've got a WYSIWYG here so what we can do is we can add content for example we can add a heading here uh, we can add another and we can 
do, for example, a bullet list. So we can go one, two, three, and we can do uh, a block quote. So hello world, classic. And you can add a link in here as well, actually. So we can say, uh, so let's search for my Twitter, for example. And what we can do is we can paste in the URL here. We can have that. What you can do here, you can edit it, link options. You can get that to open in another page, a bit like when we were coding target underscore blank does the same thing so that's uh, that's our WYSIWYG editor what we can do as well let's just move that over to the right just to show then we can add a link so we've got a post from hello world so we've added that link and a file and what we can do is we'll just reuse that same image as our file download so next thing to do is to save the post and we want to view the post. Sorry, not post, I'm saying post, it's pages. And there we go. So this is our text field. This is our text area. There's our beautiful image. This is the WYSIWYG area or editor. There we go. And you can see our link that takes us off to my uh, Twitter account. And page link, click the link. So that's taken us off to the hello world and finally the add file section click here to view the file and that should open in a new window and it's our image so that's it for this video what we have learned is to add some fields and to populate it and to use in our template again you can download the template for the uh, for the course and I'll put the uh, I'll put the link in the description Okay, any questions, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know if there's something you want me to add towards this course as I keep progressing, let me know and we can, uh, we, we can do that. Thanks very much for watching, cheers.